Hi everybody. Looks like you have a test coming up on uh, Unit 3 in a couple of days, so maybe it's tomorrow if you're a little bit tardy. Uh, anyways, your lessons are always found at MrMathBlog.com, so this one's found in the integrated math one. So here we go. Uh, solve the linear system by graphing and check your solutions. You're going to have some of these on here. So we're going to go ahead and graph these. I'll graph this one in red. I'll graph this one in blue. And then where they intersect is our answer, okay? You'll have a handful of these. So when they're in this form, I like to do the zeros, you guys. When x equals zero, check this out. Um, let's see. I'll do that. Let's see. Do I have it? Good. When x equals zero, then this x goes away. And you're left with y equals negative 2. So we'll go ahead and graph 0, negative 2. Okay, now when y equals 0, that's this one right here, then this plus y goes away, and we're left with x equals x equals 2, okay, or um, negative 2. So we're going to graph uh, 0, negative 2, and negative 2, 0. Connect them up. There you go. Okay, I'll do the same thing with the blue guy. Okay, when x equals 0, those go away. Uh, that goes away too. So when x equals 0, y equals 6. Okay, so I'll graph 0, 6. There it is way up there. And then when y equals 0, that goes away. Negative x equals 6. So x is going to equal negative 6 when you divide by negative 1. Okay, so I connect them up. And then right there where they intersect is the answer right there. To the left, 4, up 2. So negative 4, 2. All right, let's try uh, this one here. All right, so on this first one here, you guys, I'm going to take uh, this one. I'm going to solve for y because a lot of you guys are real stuck on solving for y. you got to be good at it, you guys. So I'm going to show you how to do this, and I, I don't recommend. I'd rather do the zeros like I did on that last one, but watch. I'll solve for y. So I subtracted 9x from both sides, and I get 6y equals 9x minus 6. That's what this says over here. Okay? Then I'm going to divide everything by 6 right now, get rid of that 6. Okay, and then <clears throat> this is going to cancel to be 1. 3 goes into this guy 3 times, into this guy 2 times, and then these guys cancel, and I get y equals mx plus b, except my m is 3 halves and my b is negative 1. Now, if you're comfortable doing that, then go ahead, but I find most of my kids, they think they're comfortable, and then they make mistakes, so just be careful when you're doing that. Okay, I'm going to do graph this minus 1 first, so I'm going to plot that right there first, okay? So there's that, and then from there, I'm going to use this slope, up 3 to the right 2, and put another point. So up 1, 2, 3, and go to the right 2. 1, 2. I'll put a point right there, okay? And this is going to be my red line, so I'll connect it up. There we go. And then uh, I think for this blue guy, I'm going to go ahead and do the zeros, and I'll cover it up again. Okay, when x equals 0, I have, there's still the negative. Don't forget about the negative. Negative 3y equals 8. So we divide both sides by negative 3, and we get negative 8 thirds. Okay, do you see that? All right, because we don't, if I divide it both sides by, by negative 3, I'm going to get y equals negative 8 thirds. Okay, now what is negative 8 thirds? Well, if we divided that, you guys, uh, uh, 3 goes into 8 two times, and then 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so then we subtract, and then we get 2, so we start at the top. And it's written as uh, 2 and 2 thirds, okay? But since it's negative 8 thirds, it's 2 and 2 thirds. So we go clockwise, you guys. So I'm going to graph negative 2 and 2 thirds. So 0, negative 2 and 2 thirds. Here's negative 2, here's negative 3. So it's about right about there, okay? Between negative 2 and 3 right there, okay? So there's that point right there. All right, and then this time when y equals 0, so now when y equals 0, I can cover up this 3y action right here. I'm left with 2x equals 8, so x2 goes into 8 four times, so I can graph 4, 0. There it is right there. Okay, I'm going to connect these guys, and where the blue guy intersects the red guy, that's my answer. So they intersect right there at negative 2, negative 4, to the left 2, down 4. All right, now we're going to solve by substitution, you guys. So here's the first one, y equals 3x plus 2, and x plus 2y equals 11. Okay, I'm going to substitute um, uh, this 3x plus 2 in for that y right there. So here we go, substitute it in. Okay, so x plus 2y, well, here's my y, 3x plus 2, and then distribute the 2 through, so I get 6x plus 4. Okay, don't forget about the 4 part right there. x plus 6x is 7x, so 7x plus 4. Then I'm going to subtract 4, and I get 7x equals 7, so x equals 1. Plug in x equal 1 right there, and you find out uh, y is going to be 5, so your answer is always x comma y, so in this case it's 1 comma 5. 
All right, try it with this one. Okay, going to put that 2x minus 3 in for the y right there. Put the 3 through, uh, combine like terms, add uh, 9 to both sides, and we get x equals 2. I know I'm going kind of fast. It's kind of a long lesson, though. Then plug in x equal 2 up there, and we get y equal 1, so the answer is 2 comma 1. Okay, solve by elimination. Okay, so this is where we add them together if they're opposites. Well, here they're opposites, so I can go ahead and add them together. And the 2x and negative 2x cancel. 8y equals 24, so y equals 3. Okay, and then plug in y equals 3 into any equation. I chose the top one here. This one, 2x plus 3y equals 11. Plug in y equals 3, so 3 times 3 is 9. So we'll subtract 9 on both sides, and we get x equals 1. Okay, remember y equals 3. So it comes x first and y second. Okay, all right. How about this one here? Okay, here, uh, I'm going to, let's see, I can make these both uh, 12x and negative 12x, or make this uh, 10y and negative 10y. Since these are already negatives of each other, I'm going to choose the 12x's. So I did it right here. Multiply the top equation times 3. So this times 3 is 12x. This times 3 is 15y. This times 3 is 105. There it is right there. Okay, this one's times 4. So I multiplied everything times 4. Now I'm ready to add, okay, 15y and 8y. 23y. 105 plus a negative 36 is 69. Okay, 23 times 3 equals 69. So then plug in y equal 3 anywhere up there. I chose that equation right there and I got x equals 5 when I plugged it in right there. Okay, just be careful. Always x comes first, so 5 comma 3. All right, then you have uh, graphing, uh, graph the inequality. Okay, so here we got uh, y uh, is greater than 4x minus 3. Okay, no problem. Okay, I'm going to first graph y equals 4x minus 3, and it's a dotted line because there's no equals bar. It's not greater than or equals to. Okay, and then we're going to shade one side of the line or the other. We always test 0, 0. So here's my minus 3 right there. So that's the, this minus 3 is this number right here. And then from there, up 4 to the right 1. So up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, to the right, 1. Okay, so there it is. It's a dotted line. Now we're going to test 0, 0 right here. 0, plug in 0. 4 times 0, so is 0 greater than 4 times 0 minus 3? Is 0 greater than negative 3? Yes, in my book it is. 0 is definitely bigger than negative 3. Okay. 3 is bigger than 0, but 0 is bigger than negative 3. So since 0, 0 is on this side, and it was a yes from over here, then I shade the side that 0, 0 is on. So that's the answer right there. Okay, this one says graph the system of inequalities. Okay, all right, this is the only one I'm doing. This is just number 1, you guys, sorry. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and, um, uh, let's see, we're going to go ahead, time out, let me, let me, going to highlight that because so I'm going to take that out. This is just the only problem we're doing on here. I copied and pasted from an old lesson here. All right, so um, uh, we have, uh, I'm going to do this one in blue, and what I did is I subtracted y from both sides. So 2x minus y, and then the 1 is here. So that's what this says right here. And then I did the zeros. When x equals 0, you can cover this up, you guys, and negative y equals 1, so y equals negative 1 right there. And then when y equals 0, when this y equals 0, I have 2x equals 1. Pretend like it's an equal sign. So divide by 2 and we get x equals 1 half. Okay, so 0, negative 1 is this guy. That's this, 0, negative 1. And then 1 half 0 is this guy right here, 1 half 0. Okay, it's a solid line. So let's go ahead and do a solid line. Then we're going to test 0, 0. Okay, I did it really fast right here. So test 0, 0 is 0. 2 times 0 greater than 0 plus 1. Okay? Is a 0 greater than 1? That's not true. So I'm not going to shade the side 0, 0 is on, which is on this side. I shade the other side. Okay? Let's do the next line in red. Okay? Did 0, 0 again. There's the zeros. Okay? When x equals 0, 2y equals 2. So y equals negative 1. And when y equals 0, negative x equals negative 2. So x equals 2. So here's 0, negative 1 right here. Here's 2, 0 right here. Okay, it's another solid line, so I'm going to do a solid line right there. Test 0, 0. This time it was yes. So I shade the side 0, 0 is on. It's on this side right here of this line, so I'm going to shade this side of the red line. 
this side of the blue line, so where they intersect is in this little piece of pie right there. Does that make sense, you guys? All right, you guys. Don't forget, you guys, uh, the last section uh, that we taught yesterday in my class was uh, section 3.7, part 2. It was problem solving with linear inequalities. You'll probably see one or those, one or two of those on your test as well, okay? Hey, good luck on your test, you guys. Take care.